The rocks Tigris and Euphrates rivers could run dry by 2040 because of declining water levels and climate change, a government report said. Over the years, the construction of dams in upstream Turkey, Syria and Iran has choked off some of the flow of the Tigris and Euphrates on which Iraq depends. Climate change is contributing to temperatures increases and erratic rainfall, pushing the fear of water shortages in Iraq to new levels, it said. The rate of decline in water imports to Iraq has begun gradually and will decrease to 30% by 2035, the Ministry of Water Resources said. The country's water inflows during the summer are estimated to be about 40 billion cubic meters. A decrease in supply to 30% of normal levels will result in Iraq receiving 11 billion cubic meters annually, the report said. Iraq's water consumption needs amount to 53 billion cubic meters annually, which means the deficit will increase to 80%. The country has been known as the land between the two rivers since the dawn of civilization. But the majority of the Iraq's water supply either originates from or passes through neighboring states, which have limited its supplies over the years. It has affected Iraq's agriculture and increased water pollution in most areas of the country. Iraq's growing population, mismanagement of water and climate change are also affecting Iraqis' access to water. Severe droughts will affect the country by 2025, the report said, with the Euphrates almost completely drying up towards the south and the Tigris turning into a watercourse with limited resources. A strategic plan made by the Ministry of Water Resources identified measures to confront this deficit, which is the modernizing and readjusting irrigation projects and systems, because the main consumer of water in Iraq is the agricultural sector, said Aoun Diab, a ministry consultant.